in this tutorial I'm just going to point out a few tidbits in case you're not familiar with them and what is it well first of all before we do that again this is one of the reasons I like to use textures a lot because this entire scene has about a hundred and I don't know, 40 faces in it, you know, it renders in about mm, three seconds. So it's fast. And can you imagine modeling a scene like this? And those are the kind of textures you're going to find on my sci fi animator.com website in February. The interesting thing about textures is that even though this takes two or three seconds to, to render, well, you, that's not fast enough for a game. However, what you can do, you can take advantage of the renderer and render your textures in 3D like this, and then take this rendered image and copy that out and cut it into a new scene and paste that onto a, just maybe paste that onto a flat plane off into a distance, and then you would have just a single flat rent textured image off in the distance, and then you could run it in real time within a game. So textures make a huge difference as far as performance of a game. And they make a huge difference just in general renders. All right, so that's that. So let's take a look at the next image here. Now this one here, uh, the purpose of this is that, well, first I do have textures in here. These greens are textures that are mapped in and they're, and they're kind of balancing these purples that you see in here. And the red is being balanced by the blue background here. The red's still a little bit too hot. My light was too hot in the background. But the purpose of this image is to teach you about backlights in case you're not familiar with it. If you ha haven't taken a photography class, or even if you did, you may not have learned about backlighting. But in a lot of you know, a lot of professional photographers with, say, uh, glamour photography or portraits, they'll use a backlight. They'll have the flash on the camera, or they'll have their soft boxes, and you can come, you can take a little itty bitty flash, and you can stick it behind the model. And if you look at a lot of images of models, you'll see you know this nice bright highlight behind their hair that really makes image really pop out. Well, they're using a light behind the scene, and it's not a really bright light because you don't want to wash out the whole scene. But and then you have a and it has a little control on it that responds to the flash on your camera or your light setup and then it fires when your flashes when your main flashes fire at the same time so that's a really important technique and I would recommend experimenting with backlighting techniques like that okay and then one more let me see what is this one? Oh yeah this one here and this is just another example of using textures and the purpose of this texture was notice how I have these things these are pretty bright you know it's bright highlights along the edges and then it fades off pretty good towards the edge so and even when you look on the inside so it gives it the effect of a lots of bright lights that fall off quickly instead of just a smooth flat light and that's kind of what helps bring the uh, object to life in there as well so just little details can really help so there's that one there and there's that one there. Okay, all right, well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.